God. Are you sort of freaked out by that? Because I'm like really. <laughs> Jesus. Top five ghosts caught on camera by ghost hunters. The thing in the crypt. Ghost hunting YouTuber Franco TV conducted a paranormal investigation inside an allegedly haunted graveyard. In the video, Frank stays so late that he actually ends up getting accidentally locked inside the creepy cemetery by the groundskeeper. I'm stuck in Jacksonville. That's the way out. As it gets darker, he begins to hear bizarre noises from somewhere among the graves. All right, guys, so right now, I'm still in this graveyard. Oh, give me a freaking break. You gotta be at me. That is freaking spooky. I'm trying to find it, but I don't want to get too close. Look at the size of this thing. Hello? Then, Frank catches something very bizarre on camera. I am heading towards the mausoleum area, which is right in front of me somewhere, right around there. And I'm gonna take you guys to check this area out one more time. Then I'm gonna try to see if I can head out of here because I'm pretty far from the car. All right, let me try this, there we go. All right. There they are right there, I don't know what is it? It's like a black thing. What? Oh my god. It's moving. Get the out of here. Oh my god, that was so creepy. I want to make sure I have a place to run. I'm going to see if I can catch what it was. That I just Oh my god. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so spooky. And it's not even there no more. Of course it's not even there no more. I don't know what I just saw. Frank says that as he approached the mausoleum door, his flashlight battery, which previously was fully charged, suddenly began to die. This is what caused the strange off and on illumination that we see in the video. I have no freaking idea what that was. I want to relook. I I want to get back to the car. I got goosebumps and chills. Jesus Christ! No. Nope. No. 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 Nobody. Holy. Sh Frank decides to just get out of there. After a few frantic phone calls, he manages to contact the cemetery groundskeeper, who comes to let him out. So did Frank catch a ghost on camera in a haunted cemetery? Or is it all just a hoax? You decide. By the way, be sure to check out this video and Frank's other creepy ghost hunt videos 
over on his channel at Franco TV. It knows your name. One of the most popular ghost hunting series on YouTube is BuzzFeed Unsolved. In one episode, hosts Shane and Ryan investigate the Waverly Hills Sanatorium, which is believed to be one of the most haunted locations in the entire world. The ghost of a little boy named Timmy is said to be particularly active on the hospital's third floor. They say that Timmy loves to play with blue rubber balls. Why the ball has to be blue, I'm not sure. But many visitors claim that when a blue ball is placed on the floor, Timmy will move it. Take your time, whatever energy you need to save up to move it, you just take your time and move it for me. Thank you. That's a good job, Tim. While investigating, Ryan decides to conduct an experiment to see if he can contact the ghost of little Timmy. Now, when watching this creepy clip, it's very important to remember that the guy throwing the ball is named Ryan. Ryan, and you'll see why. Timmy, I'm very scared, but if you could throw this ball back, I won't be as scared. Oh my God, that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. All right, Timmy, I'm throwing the ball down. You ready? All right. It bounced a few extra times, though. Did you hear that? Do you think it bounced? A, I thought it bounced a couple extra times, but I thought it was just my mind playing tricks on me. It sounded like it stopped and then it bounced a little more. Oh my God. I don't know if that means ghost, but let's walk down and find the ball. <laughs> That's the most serious I've ever seen. Let's walk down there and find the ball. All right, Timmy, we're coming to get the ball. I don't know where it went. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Do you want the fun shot right now? Oh, there it is. No way. Oh! <laughs> oh! No! Oh no, 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 no! Ryan, the ball no. bounced. No, the ball stopped here. How the f Ryan, is that the possible? Ball, the ball stopped right here. How is that possible? Oh no! <laughs> they know. Oh. Ryan, they know. Shut up, dude. You know this is f***ing weird. Shut up. Inexplicably, the ball bounces down the hallway and then rolls into one of the rooms, stopping right beside some random graffiti that just happens to display Ryan's name. Ryan says that before throwing the ball, he hadn't seen the graffiti or even been inside that particular room. Ball came right into this hallway. I don't know what the odds are, Timmy, that my ball would land right next to my name down there that I didn't know existed. So could this just be random chance? Did a ghost move the ball? Or did BuzzFeed Unsolved just fake the whole bizarre occurrence? You decide. Just around the corner. Gypsy Paranormal is a group that does ghost hunting and urban exploration around Northern Wales. On this occasion, the group was conducting a paranormal investigation of an old steel fabrication factory. Workers had reported odd encounters around the factory, including unexplained whistles, shadow figures, and even a case of a full-body ghostly apparition. The following video was caught by Mark Jones during the investigation by Gypsy Paranormal.
Jesus. Hello? Hello? Mark says that he didn't even notice the dark figure until he viewed his video back later. He says that his ghost hunting team entered the locked factory with the only key, and there is no other exit. He can't explain the figure or the sounds that he caught on camera. Brushy Mountain On the YouTube channel The G-Team Paranormal Investigators, Patty Adams leads a ghost hunting team that checks out supposedly haunted buildings and locations. In one very creepy episode, they investigate the abandoned Brushy Mountain Prison in Northern Tennessee. Brushy Mountain Prison is infamous because when it was opened in 1896, it served as a forced labor camp for prison inmates. Prisoners were required to work in extremely dangerous conditions in the Brushy Mountain coal mines. And if they didn't meet their daily work quota, they were beaten by prison guards. With a dark history like that, it's not surprising that Brushy Mountain Prison is considered to be a hotbed for paranormal activity. During the paranormal investigation of the prison, Patty enters a room where deceased prisoners were processed for burial. In this particular room, caretakers say that they often hear what sounds like men working and carrying on conversations even though no one else is in the building. There have also allegedly been multiple sightings of strange apparitions and shadow beings. Patty and her friend Stacy immediately begin to hear bizarre noises. <gasps> Whoa! What was that? I just heard a voice. Hello? Who's with us? What's your name? Oh my God, do you hear all that? Okay, there's movement in here somewhere. And then Patty captures this scary footage in the window of one of the back rooms. Hello, who's here? I think I just seen something by that window over there. Right there. Oh, right there. I thought I just saw something. I'm not sure. It just sure. looked like something's up there. I'm not sure what I saw, but I thought I saw something. What the hell? What is it? And then, out of nowhere. Oh my god. Did you just freaking hear that? I heard that. Patty and Stacy have heard enough, and they decide to just leave the area. So what do you think G-Team Paranormal caught on camera? Is this the ghost of an angry former prison inmate? Let me know what you think. By the way, you can check out Patty's full investigation of Brushy Mountain Prison over on her channel, The G-Team Paranormal Investigators. It's all coming from this area down here. Hey, you just shut the door. What the hell? A terrifying tour. This next video is especially unique because it doesn't involve your typical group of ghost hunters. This video was taken by Adelaide's Haunted Horizons Ghost Tours. This tour group is exploring the supposedly haunted Talem Town Church in South Australia. The people that you see in this video are all random tour participants, not paranormal researchers. They have no reason to fake their reactions. So, first the tour group's camera and light batteries begin to drain mysteriously. Uh, and why is the infrared light not working? Uh, can you just flick the torch off for a second? 
that as well was running when I was in here. And that one there's not running either. The big infrared lights just stop. The one on the camera isn't running. And very strange things begin to happen to the tour participants. Yeah, I think we can get it tonight. You can guarantee it's going to happen tonight. Oh, whoa. He just let that his chair. Yeah, it fell on something, sat on the chair, and it vibrated, and then it fell on something like that. Oh, okay. It fell on And new video. I'm not saying that. Hey, you are a. So that was that night. Then, as I said, it knows the night. Oh my god. What? What? Is that you? He's on the leg. What is it? It's like something, seriously. What? That just felt like something just touched the fire. Oh my god. And he hasn't moved from his spot. He can't move from the He He's kind of weird to see like that. He looks hell weird. Yeah. Are you alright? I'm good. No, but you're not reacting or anything. She's petrified and you're not even. You're just chilling. And she look, just got. What happened to you? Did you get touched? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Felt like someone went like that. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, my back was rubbing it. I didn't realize you could do that. Same freak to me out. Do you normally sit there as quiet as No. That's the thing, he's normally really loud. Obviously, he's got that. Obnoxious. Obnoxious. I mean, I didn't say that. Then it learns a new trick, and this is the one that brought forward the new rule about if you don't feel right, if you get irritable, if you get angry, if you get anxious. <laughs> No, tell us. Just before you even started. Yeah. You and if you think maybe that guy was just a bit unstable or perhaps having a bad day, well, he's not the only tour member who has a very frightening experience. She said she just feels sad. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. You make me sad. I'm gonna cry now. Is it because you're scared and you need to go out, or do you just no, that's don't know? Yeah, you, she, she, you don't know why you're crying. She's shaking. Cause she's, cause she's really shaking, like non-stop. Her legs are going crazy. I knew he was here tonight. That's what I said to you out by the manor yeah, house. Just stop tours completely. That way, I guess people won't come back. Because What's going on? it would spoil the game. It's all about something past me again. It was really cold. It's just like something hot just went across. That was happening to me over there, but I was just ignoring it. Well, you're going to have to take. Oh, you got a camera there? Yeah, I'm filming. Okay, you're going to have to take over manually because it's happening too much. It's moving around. I feel really cold right now as well. I'm shivering. I'm shivering as well. I have been shivering the whole time. Yeah, she has been. I'm freezing cold. Are you alright, Sarah? When you were when you were getting upset, is that just from fear or? Yeah, just mm -hmm. Or I you just, just randomly want to cry? Are you even freezing? Oh, your hands are shaking like crazy. That's how I have been since I came in here. I feel sick. You feel sick as well? Yeah. I feel sick as when I feel so when I feel sick. Well, we can either keep got going or we can call it a quick. No, I think yeah. this is what yeah, I'm sitting here. This is what you come for. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah it's what no. we signed up for. This I is guess. quite yeah, an active. Later in the video, in another area of the church, a tour member says he feels like he's been hit hard in the shoulder by some unseen force. Unfortunately, the camera only catches the audio of the event. I don't know, it should be up the front. Where is the scratch? On my shoulder. See this here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look okay. how well it shows up on this. Oh, just trying that photo. Yeah. That's going to be better than uh, any other. I'll, I'll just hold it down for a second. Look at that, Ryan. Oh. Are you sort of freaked out by that? Because I'm like really. <laughs> Jesus. But in the end, no worries. All of the Ghost Tour participants made it out okay.
So did this group experience something paranormal in the haunted Talem Town Church? Or was it just some form of bizarre group hysteria? Let me know what you think.